We're steam bending the roof rafters here. Um, what that involves is boiling up a, a big amount of water to create steam. We run that steam through a laundry pipe. The process of steaming involves saturating the fibres of the wood with steam so that it becomes flexible. A bit like um, a piece of spaghetti when it's dry, you boil it in water and it suddenly becomes bendy. Once it dries out again, it becomes solid. The same with steam bending. You saturate the fibres with steam, bend the piece of wood over some form of jig that shapes it, clamp it in position, and then as it cools, it sets in that position. Um, this is a little experimental from the point of view that Lawson Cypress is not well known for its steam bending, but I don't know of people who have bent it in the round. Most steam bending is done for boat building and, or chair making, and it tends to be done with um, sawn or cleft pieces of wood. Um, in the round, because the fibres are all intact within the piece of wood, there's a lot more possibility of bending it without the wood buckling or splitting out. And we're actually only going for a gentle bend just to create a nice curve in the roof shape. And um, so far, it's going really well. Um, the roof rafter is um, fitted into the, into the gas pipe and then we've packed it with clay around the outside. Um, and we steam each one of these for about three hours of intensive steam. And then um, take them out of the, the pipe and um, take them over to our jig where we sit upon the actual rafter to weigh it down and then ratchet it in position. <laughs> and it will sit like that for um, 24 to 48 hours. And then we take it out of that jig and take it to a, a setting jig where it will sit for a couple of weeks and then it will be ready to go on the roof. You have to be careful working with steam under pressure. Um, steam engines have a huge amount of power and if the steam gets pressurised, something will have to blow or pop. Hence, we've got light seals on the end of the steam box and you can see steam is happily escaping out of there. That ensures there isn't a build-up of pressure and therefore there's no chance of the, um, the actual steam box um, exploding or blowing, which would be possible if it was pressurised steam. This is one of the wall plates, and as you can see, we've steam bent this to create the curves we want to run along the side of the building. It's quite a large piece of timber to bend, so we've put this in the, um, in the steamer jig for quite a few hours to get the degree of flexibility into it. And then we've actually used the existing frame we've now erected as a, as a mould, as a former, to bend this around. So, um, this whole beam has been bent round the, the jowl posts on the frame to create this effect, left there to settle for a few days before we brought it up here and um, popped it down on the tenons coming out of these jowl posts. So this is on top of the jowl post and this is a um, tenon coming up that's going to pick up the steam bent wall plate as it runs through. Um, this tenon is, is set off at a slight angle. If, it was, if we were putting in a straight wall plate, it would be more like that. But because we're allowing for the curve, which is going to sweep round through there, we've offset the tenon to that angle. Although sometimes you can find pieces of wood that have this type of curve, it's, it's quite difficult to find the exact bend you want to fit a whole outside curve of a building. So steaming really comes into its own when you want to create these perfect shapes to form the, the outer curves of the building. <laughs>